Today you're going to find us in the northern part of Indiana on the Buffalo Run Snowmobile Trail. We're poised right here to uh, accept all the lake effect snow that comes our way and, and that's kind of what's happened here in the last couple of weeks. We've really been blessed with some awesome snow. We've really been out enjoying the trail. It's been a good time. And uh, this all happens through a cooperative agreement that we have between our club, which is the Michiana Trail Riders Coalition, and the Department of Natural Resources. And what makes all this possible is through snowmobiles registrations money. That money goes into a designated fund, and that fund is used to support programs such as the Buffalo Run Trail that we've been able to get out and, uh, and enjoy today. We can get on the north end of the trail sometimes up to 20 inches of snow, and on the southern end of our trail we might only have five or six. And again, that's all because of the lake effect that comes off of, of Lake Michigan and which way the wind happens to be blowing. So we're in a position where we can get set up for some really, really good riding conditions and have a lot of fun out here. We can't always rely on system snow, but we're almost always guaranteed that we're gonna have good snow coming off of Lake Michigan. The Buffalo Run Trail, I believe, is the largest trail in the state. It's 73 miles long. It's a trail that can be enjoyed by any family member from the oldest to the youngest, anybody can ride the trail. There's nothing so extreme that the average rider can meet up to the challenges that the Buffalo Run Trail would face. The biggest challenge might be some of the wind drifts that come across the fields on windy days and, and uh, it kind of can set up for a bumpy condition once in a while, but uh, that just adds to the fun. If you want more information on the Buffalo Run Snowmobile Trail, you can go to uh, www.gomtrc. And on that website, you will find information about the trail. We have it posted as far as when the trail is open, when it is closed, and the amount of snowfall that is on the trail. And I think you can even find a weather link there that will help you plan your weekend if you want to come up and enjoy our trail. <music>